exercising properly dramatically improves every aspect of your life. So if you become more fit, everything uh, improves a little bit. Some things improve a lot. But there's one aspect of exercise that people completely forget when it comes to improving the quality of your life. And that's just making you feel better generally. Now, I know if you're healthier, you generally have more energy. But people expect after a workout to feel like dog shit. You do a 20-minute workout where you're practicing some of these big lifts and you do it right. Afterwards, you feel better than you started. Not only do you get the benefit of increased fitness or improved fitness, but now you get the benefit of this 20-minute energy charger that gives you uh, more energy and vigor and a better outlook for the rest of the day. Trigger sessions do this as well, but this would do it even more. All right, Bashima Kakudash, the bonnet to have an apostle be most on. Peace and salutations unto the elect. Today's lesson is going to be Salakim. But uh, today's lesson is going to be on, um, you know, being physically active, you know, because there is a, there is a very big percentage of Americans, you know, so-called Americans, and just people in this world who are fat as fuck. All right, I'm just going to put it like that. I, uh, you, you, you're obese, all right, and it's, it's not good, all right. It's not good for your health. It's not good for uh, for for anything really, you know. And a lot of it is due to fast food, grease, you know. Um, uh, it's, it's just it's just not a. You know, it's it's um it's, it's all due to this this fast food and shit. All right, it's all due to this fast food, this uh this Western culture. All right, when you think of America, when you think of American food, what do you think of? All right, you think of, of fucking burgers, cheeseburgers, fucking hot dogs. You know, there's American cheese. All type of horrible shit, and you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying it's wicked to um to eat these once in a while, but uh, you know, you had to, you had to find a balance, all right, because a lot of the time, you know, eating fast food uh, way too much is, is is cause for high cholesterol, diabetes, and whatnot, and you know, this is a lesson to myself first and foremost. And I'm just gonna give a quick testimony, read a bit of this article, and um, you know, close out. But you know, uh, my my testimony is pretty much I was at uh, um, I, I found myself eating a lot of um, food. Right? I found myself eating a lot of food, and um, you know, I felt very sluggish. I felt very weak. You know, when I was, um, this was a couple years back, you know, when I was, you know, younger, uh, I ate a lot of fast, fast food, um, you know, which is horrible. It was horrible, horrible, horrible. And, you know, I felt fat. I felt sluggish. I, I felt, you know, it was, it wasn't a good feeling, but, but, you know, you just kept on eating because the food tasted good, you know, like, I'm not going to lie. Yes, it tastes good, you know. Because of all that fucking grease and shit. But, you know, I started you know, I started being physically active. Started, you know, eating cleaner. You know, I started eating, you know, so-called, um, so-called, uh, Mexican food. You know, I started eating, um, 
more soul food, just more more food that wasn't fast food, you know, and and in that period of time, you know, uh my body was functioning better, you know, uh I could fall asleep, you know, I had the energy to actually move around. I had um you know, I just I felt overall better. You know, and it was all because of food really, you know. And and because I was able to cut off a lot of junk food, I was able to start working out and I made, you know, I had a good body. I still had to have a decent body now, but I had a, I have a, you know, I started finding myself with a good body and it was just, you know, it was a good, it was a good feeling, you know, because, you know, when you're in that fast food drought, you know, it's, it's, you know, you just keep consuming and consuming and consuming, you know, and, and it's horrible. You know, it's horrible, horrible, horrible. Especially when you're when you're a young, you're a young person. You know, whether it be a young man, whether it be a young woman. You know, it's horrible to eat like junk food every single, every single um day. You know, and I found myself um going into that rabbit hole, but I, I plugged myself out. You know, you know um, I think to y'all about my side. You know, call y'all about my side. But you know, I'm gonna read some of this article. You know, it says benefits of physical activity, immediate benefits. Some benefits of physical activity on brain health happen right after a session of moderate to vigorous physical activity. Benefits include thinking of of connected for children 6, 13 years of age and reduced short-term feelings of anxiety for adults. You know, and and that's immediate benefits. So right, right when you, you know, when you start working out. That's one of the main things you um, you feel. You know, another big reason why people want to work out is because of weight management. All right, a lot of people are are overweight or obese. All right. Now, being obese is different from you know having a little bit of weight on you. You know, because be obese to the point where you can't even fucking walk. You know. You get tired when you fucking talk. That's obese, all right. If you have a little bit of weight on you, you know it ain't. You know it ain't nothing to stress about. You know what I mean? It ain't not. You know you just you just a little bit of a bigger boy. You know it, it ain't. But I'm talking about you fat obese people. You literal obese people, all right. Cause there be some people you there be some people who need fucking wheelchairs and shit to to fucking thing. You know those um. Those electrical fucking seats that drive for you. Like, come on, man. You you should be able to fucking do regular activities like fucking walking and talking without being tired. You know? Um, it's just, you know, and it's all because of this, this Western society. All right? It's all because of this Western society. You know, this Western society wants you to be fat. It wants you to be weak. Okay, they want you to be fat, they want you to be weak, you know. And you know, uh it also strengthens your bones and muscles, you know. When when you um, you know, not only do they look good, I guess, you know, you um they help you with everyday things, you know. You know, um just they help you with everyday things, you know, which is good to work out, you know, you feel better, you look better, you know, you can grow your confidence. You know, it improves your ability to daily activities and prevent falls, you know. So, you know, um, there's just, just a lot of little things, you know. And, and you know, the Lord made food so that you can so that you can replenish and get energy. All right, not so that you can get fucking fat and do nothing, all right. That's why fruits and stuff give you energy and they make you feel good because fruits are natural. And, and and that's why fast food makes you feel all sluggish because it's all GMO food, all right. But uh, you know, uh, that's all. That's all I really wanted to get into. You know, just a quick testimony. You know, just something to uh, to you know, something to uh, to put your eye on. You know, maybe you know work out a little bit. Maybe you maybe you're looking into working out. You know.
I would recommend it. You know, it made me feel real good. It makes me feel real good. And, you know, it's just, it's just good for overall health, you know. But with that, I'm going to give our prayers. I'm going to tell you, I won't bash my shy. Don't mind it. I'm going to pass a good milestone. Please, instead, this is until you like. Shalom.